the probability that a customer in Shopee buys 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 items are 3 over 10, 1 over 10, 1 over 10, 2 over 10, and 3 over 10 respectively. So A, what is the average item that a customer will buy? And B, find the variance. So first let's do A. So A, So what is the average item that a customer will buy? So first let's um, um, rewrite um, this x, x. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now the probability of x, so let's make, let's make another column. So 3 over 10. 1 over 10, then 1 over 10, and then 2 over 10, and then 3 over 10. So now we need to multiply x times px. So we need another column, x times p of x. So 1 times 3 is 3 over 10, and then 2 times 1 over 10. So basically we just multiply the um, numerator. So we have 2 over 10. So here we have 3 over 10. Then 4 times 2 is 8 over 10. And then 5 times 3 is 15 over 10. So now we add this to get the um, average. So we have so 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 8 plus 15 and we get 31 over 10 so divide 10 is equal to 3.1 3.1 is the um, average so B find the variance so B we do want us to find the variance. So let's um, rewrite the um, columns again. So we have an X here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now P of X, uh, we have 3 over 10. We have 1 over 10. 1 over 10. And then 2 over 10. And then 3 over 10. So now we have another column. We need another column. We need um, the mu or the um, average. So x minus the average. So this is called the mu. And then squared. And then we multiply this by the probability of x. So we need this column. So x is 1, so we have 1 minus the average, mu, 3.1. And then we square this, and then we multiply by the px. px is 3 over 10. So, and then here we get 2 minus 3.1 squared times... 1 over 10. So here 3 minus 3.1 squared times 1 over 10. Then 4 minus 2 minus 3.1 squared times 2 over 10. And then we have 5 minus 3.1 squared times 3 over 10. So now let's do this one. So we have 1 minus 3.1. So 1 minus 3.1 is equal to negative 2.1. And then we multiply that. So 
let's um, do this in slow motion so you um, understand better. So we have x minus mu squared. So we have 2.1. So let's just rewrite here. So we have 1 minus 3.1 is negative 2.1. 2.1 and this is squared so 2.1 times 2.1 so we basically 2.1 times 2.1 is 4.14 now the, the negative doesn't matter because it is a squared so when you have two minus signs then it's gonna be positive so 2.1 times 2.1 is equal to 4.41 now we're gonna multiply this by 3 over 10 so we have um, times times 3 equals 13.23 and then we divide that by 10 so divide 10 it's equal to 1.3 so this is equal to 1.323 so the next one, so we have 2 minus 3.1 is equal to 1.1. So 1.1, so negative 1.1 squared. So 2 minus 3.1 is equal to negative 1.1. Now we square this. So 1.1 times 1.1, so times, or do we, I have as x exponent key here so I can hit this key times 2 it's equal to 1.1 1 1.21 and then we multiply that by p of x 1 over 10 so times 1 divide 10 and it's equal to 0 0.121 so 0 0.121 now let's do the next one so we have 3 minus 3.1 equals now we hit the exponent key we square this thing so it's equal to 0 0.01 then times 1 divide 10 it's equal to 0 0.001 So the next one we have 4 minus 3.1 equals. Now we square this 1.9 times 0.9. So it's equal to 0.81. Then we multiply P of X. So times 2. And then we divide 10. So it's equal to 0 0.162. So the next one we have 5 minus 3.1 equals 1.9 now we square this it's equal to 3.61 then multiply by 3 of 10 3 10 it's equal to 10.83 divide 10 it's equal to oh, 5 minus 3.1 then we square this 3 6 then times 3 divide 10 it's equal to 1.083 so now the variance is the sum of this so we have 1.323 plus 0 0.121 plus 0 0.001 plus 0 0.162 plus 1.083 and now this is equal to so let's add it 1.323 plus 0 0.121 plus 0 0.001 plus 
1.162 plus 1.083 equals 2.69. So this is the variance.